Hello everyone. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Leo. Uh, doing something different today. This is a game that I found called Software Incorporated. <clears throat> it's on. It's in alpha now. You can get it in early at uh, at Steam. It's in early access. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for it, and but you know, prices change, so I don't want to put out anything that's going to be out of date in a day or a week. Anyway, the name of it is Software Inc. <clears throat> <clears throat> and it's in Alpha 8. Um, hold on here. Hold on. Save game. All right. Game is saved. Quit the menu. Okay. This is what you're faced with. Right side, you've got uh, uh, the news section and Alpha 8 break saves. Well, when you're in an Alpha, you can't count on anything. All the graphics on here are placeholders. Now, that's that's just my opinion. I don't want to put words in the mouths of the developers or anything. As far as I know, they haven't said anything like that. <clears throat> anyway, they give us the news that the Alpha 8 breaks servers. And the second thing on the news is new system integrated. And that's because this is sorted from uh, newest down to oldest, I believe. Again, I, that's just my assumption. Anyway, the name is Software Incorporated. And you start out and you've got a little plot of land and you've got a little bit of money. Um, I've watched several tutorials on this, and I've got a pretty good handle on at least the early game. Now, I was playing this, and it occurred to me that uh, you know other people might enjoy watching this. So, uh, started up Shadow Play and started recording. So, I've been playing this game. I probably have. Well, I don't know. Okay, let's start with time. Time in this game. Uh, it parses time out in one month increments. All right. Uh, so every day. You come, you, you arrive on the bus, you go in your office, the lights come on, you sit down and you work a while, you go get you a cup of coffee, come back and work some more. Four o'clock, you're gone, all right? Uh, and then it advances to the next day, which is actually the next month. Uh, now, what you do during the day is uh, you work. You create software. This is a software, uh, you're running a software company. So, uh, let's go into continue. All right, so here we are. Game's paused. Now, I've done some remapping of the keys to more of a uh, MMORPG style with one exception. I've mapped space to pause because some of these things can get to going pretty quick. And when you're an older fellow like me, they kind of uh, stack up on you a little bit. Anyway, so here's the building. You get a piece of land, and you can see that uh, there's not an awful lot of detail. It's probably worse even than Minecraft. Except the uh, the uh, uh, people are modeled uh, a little more uh, realistically a little more than in uh, Minecraft. Anyway, the camera controls, the way they're originally mapped are a bit wonky. So you might have to remap those. Okay, now you see I've got this little brick building here. Uh, there wasn't nothing here except trees and grass. That's what those are supposed to be. Uh, and uh, I had a $50,000 loan. Um, when the game initially starts you out, it gives you a $20,000 loan. That's the default. Uh, this game, unless you're really, you know, good at these in-depth sim simulations or you're, you know, you just enjoy being uh, ridiculed and mocked, uh, buy a game, then uh, uh, put it on uh, twenty thousand. You have to cut it up one notch. It starts with twenty. Cut it up to fifty. That's one notch up. Also, when it comes up, it's going to default to medium difficulty. Put it on easy, unless, like I said, you're really, really good at these kind of games, or you just enjoy being being humiliated uh, by this game. Um, all right, so. Brick building. Got a couple people standing around outside. Okay, see, I just made a bunch of money off of selling some software. I'm just continuing to sell it. Here, my products. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Down here on this uh, bottom menu. Your releases. See a list of products you own. Well, I have developed one product. Now, the year is 1980. It's June 1980, so it's been six turns since I started. Six months, right? Right. Okay, I have created a 2D editor. That was what I initially took my. Um, um, skills in. I got rid of uh, a thing called lead because initially you're working on your own. You don't need lead skills. Uh, that means you're you're really good at leading a team. And I got rid of marketing because the first guy I was going to hire was a marketer. Now, 
An argument can be made that a good decision is also to hire a designer. Okay, because uh, designers, you're kind of front end loading your 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 projects then because you have a really good designer helping you who would have good designer skills because you, you got rid of the lead and uh, the marketing skills or the lead and the designer skills, whichever ones you want to get rid of. All right, also I recommend right away, <clears throat> and you'll see these or you can go watch some more um, tutorials to kind of get an idea, is that uh, you... You can skip something, but hire somebody to fill that in right off the bat, whatever it is. You figure out which one you like. Now, the, the jobs are, let's show you here. Now, there's an HR uh, section down here, and there's five, as of right now, options in there. One is to manage employees. Okay, there's me. That's my name. All right, don't be looking me up on the Internet and then trying to, you know, like uh, get all my non-existent money and stuff. Uh, but these are other people I hired. And you can say, I hired a marketer. That was my first one. I paid her $22.50. A month she's 49 years old and she's her personality hold on see these people even have personalities hold on hold on hold on that's not the one I want all right if you right click you get that context menu which is still confusing to me uh, details right here on the bottom of this window this employee window right there mm -hmm. okay uh, shows you her traits she's a hard worker compared to fast learner she's on the fast learner side all right all right good deal and very independent. Uh, she's a touch on the lazy side, but that's fine. Uh, her role is to be a marketer. Uh, her specialization is, is uh, well, it's not on this list. This is your technical skills. Uh, not to create an argument over whether or not sales skills are technical or not. I used to sell cars. They, uh, there's an argument that can be made. So let's close her window here. Um, so I also hired Diane Ellis as a designer. She's just part of the core design team. And see, this is the thing. You start out, you have the core team. All right, first thing I did when I hired Sabrina Kim here was I created a marketing team, and she's the only person on it. The reason she's the only person on it is because she's middle-aged. Uh, you didn't see this because you weren't there when I hired her. She's cranky. All right, she's, she's not compatible, so she's on a team all by herself. She's 49. So she's not, you know, uh, she's probably not going to be, I'm going to, I don't know if you can affect the employee's compatibility score by being nice to them or treating them not, uh, giving them raises every once in a while, that kind of thing, but we'll find out. Uh, so I hired a designer, uh, this is Dane Ellis, I think, anyway, 46 years old, uh, paid thirty three seventy five a month, and see all these people take their vacation the same month. So next month, that's why I can't start a project. I'm just going to do contract work for next month because it's June now, and as soon as this day, it's 8.35 a.m., you can see right there. As soon as this day is over, it's going to be July, and then all these people will be on vacation. Okay, so anyway, 46 years old. This is the guy that's helping me on my core projects. Now, see, people from the tutorials I've seen, people keep their best people in the core team. At least in the early game. I haven't seen it really any late game stuff because I'm just not that advanced to even be looking at it. So I'm the only person on the core team. Like I said, I created a marketing team as soon as I hired Sabrina, the uh, marketing expert. Uh, now then I created a design team, which has Dane Ellis and also has Cecilia Harper. Look at the difference in age, 32. But you can also click here and you can see the difference in their skill. Now, see, so look at design skill right there, and then you come down here and you look at Dane Ellis. He has a 94% design skill. He's pretty damn good. All right, she has a 76, but, 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 where's she at? Where's Cecilia Harper at? Where are you at? And see, the scroll don't work. Um, it doesn't show there, so we got her selected. Cecilia Harper, come down here to details. Cecilia Harper. Well, she's in class. How come it's not showing it on here? Uh, I sent her to Max class. Yep. Anyway, it was for three months. Then it cost me five grand. I'm not sure what money is called in here. I think it's got dollar signs on it. So if I call it a dollar, yeah, it's got a dollar sign on it. Uh, made fifty thousand this month, and that's off of that initial Axiom view. 2D editor. Now, 
the only come down here to the development window this is where you develop your own software check your releases out and stuff anyway you go to development now you get to you get to name your product right there you get to select what kind of product it is everybody says start out with an audio tool because you're a 2d guy or or a 2d editor or an audio tool right or was it cms i can't remember watched a bunch of these things uh one designer two programmers just file management software you, you could probably pull that off with one guy okay uh, you know your your original you that you created at the beginning of the game and maybe one of these days I'll go back and look at the character creator, but uh, it's 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 Check every option on there Say out of ten options that are on there six of them are just fluff my opinion uh, So, you know you, you want to be careful there, but you don't want to get all into like setting your eyebrows just right so looking at this little building that I made here uh, here I am, right there, that's me, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right click, and here's your little context menu, I can change my role, I can assign the furniture, I've already assigned furniture, that's something that you cannot overlook, make sure everybody knows what desk is theirs, what computer is theirs, what phone, if they got a phone, only people who get a phone are marketing people, because it's a productivity aid for them, and there's that goes into a whole different depth there. Uh, you can send them home for the day. I don't know what that's for. Uh, you can select for the furniture that's assigned to them. You can select their entire team. Uh, you can look at that employee's details. We're going to look at my details. I see start out age 20. Now this guy here, um, the glasses, my glasses aren't that prominent, and I'm nowhere near as young as him. Uh, move this over here. Move this over here move this there and that would probably be me of course you know like I said that's just fluff so here I am sitting on my computer I got a clock over my head you place a clock because clock increases what does it increase a clock increases I know right I know the freaking clock on the wall you get stats from that and I don't want to clone it here we go now we come down here to we got it set for function you can have it. You can uh, have it for a room, but I got it set for function. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at productivity aids. Uh, and here's where you select like a, a telephone helps out a marketer. And I can't move the mouse up there, but look at the little screen there, uh, where the green stripes are on the bottom says marketer. Well, that's you know that this helps a marketer. Here's a drawing to our uh, inbox. What does this help? Inbox helps the lead. Uh, helps everybody a little bit. But it does the lead and the marketer the most good. Uh, calculator does mar uh, programmer most good. Also helps the lead. Uh, drawing tablet, big help for an artist. A little bit for a designer, not so much anybody else. Phone, marketing, lead. Bookshelf, I put one of these in every room because what is the room boost? Skill by a pretty good little chunk there. Everybody benefits from skill. As far as I know, everybody benefits from skill. Okay. Um, but what I'm looking for specifically is the clock right right so we'll go to room now somewhere on here we should see a clock there it is all right there's what a clock gives you a little window open up there effectiveness gives you a little boost on that improves the environment you want people to have a good environment that's why if you look in here i got a plant there by the uh, visitor's bathroom door and these are the employees bathrooms over here but you can't set that that's just you know how i'm picturing it in my mind uh, I put the ex the espresso machine. Hit Z to get a top-down view. Whoa! W A S D keys to move the camera around. Anyway, espresso machine. Hit Z again to come out of that. You can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Now I've got this set. I think it's the up and down arrows normally do the uh, do the camera up and down, but I've got it set different, so I can use my Q and E keys. And anyway, you'll get in. You'll see it. All right, so in my in my little work area here, I've got a pair of servers. One server by itself was able to uh, handle the workload of what I had going on. I didn't even have you know that room over there going on. I, I just I got it right off the bat. But anyway, whenever I finished my very my first piece of my very own software, uh, which is hold on, let me get out of build mode here, go into the development mode, look at uh, my releases. Axiom View, name of my company is Axiom Incorporated. 
This is an uh, Axiom View is a 2D editor. Uh, I haven't, I don't know anything about categories yet. I released it in May 1980. Game starts in January, but the first day is just, you're just trying to get your building built and stuff like that. So you're not even open for business in January. Uh, I learned how to make outstanding software. I invented it. 43,700 people use it. Uh, I've got widespread marketing because I hired that marketer right off the bat. I mean, really, that's what I hired that marketer for. It costs people 26 bucks. There's no license. I've made 911,000 off of it. That's in May it was released. I guess more money in June or when June finishes. I don't know about what action means. What does action mean? What do we got here? No, just the generic context menu. Uh, port. Can I port this? Apparently, you can port your software. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, anyway, it's on the two or three most popular uh, OSs. The next thing I make, though, is only going to be able, able to go on the, the, the top two because it's 1980 and not every operating system has a uh, GUI. I'll show you that. Whew, that's my first beer in eight weeks. Not because I'm on the wagon or anything, it's just because I was uh, saving up money for some much needed computer upgrades. So I could do this kind of stuff like make videos. Anyway, so let's close that. Uh, it's June 1980. All right, now my next piece of software that I'm going to develop is going to be a 2D editor because I'm a 2D guy. And you can educate people. I think we already went over that. Anyway, so this was the first room I built. I placed the door there. You have to really, unless you it just enjoy going in and tearing shit out and putting new shit in. Excuse my language. Um, think about where you're putting stuff before you put it. Anyway, so I, I'm sitting over here in my little corner. I've got my server, and I needed the second server because when I went online to distribute my software, the 25, whatever it was, uh, megabits data rate that it had. Hold on. Let's take a look at this thing. Uh, Where's the information on it? It doesn't give you information on it. you got to go into this whole build menu thing. Anyway, so we go to function, come down to S for server. It's listed alphabetically. All right. has 25 megabits per second bandwidth. It hurts the environment. Got it in here with me. Guess what this room is going to be when, uh, when I need to expand? You can build like second floors. You can build a damn almost a skyscraper. So this, I could use this whole footprint up and start going up. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build myself an office upstairs. And I'm going to turn this into the server slash boiler slash central AC room. And just ventilate the hell out of it. Because those are options you get. Uh, that's just how much in depth this game is. Anyway, I got to select my exterior. The, the uh, menus are a little counterintuitive to me to navigate. But they're not that hard to figure out. Uh, the floor, just a white check floor. I don't know if I can get rid of that grid or not. I uh, haven't looked into it. Got uh, three bathrooms here. One tile by two tiles. Got this door here intended for visitors. I don't even have a receptionist desk yet. So we've only been in business like four months or so. Here's the employee restrooms, which, like I said, just you can't enforce that. There's a refrigerator, vending machine, water cooler. That's where they can, you know, kind of meet and socialize a little bit. <clears throat> and I ain't got a problem with that, uh, as long as they're consistent. Anyway, um, so let's get out of build mode here so we can see our little windows. I've got 632,000, but see, I've split off a chunk of my stock because you played the market on your own stock here. Let me see if I can find it. And I have no idea if I'm doing the right thing, but, you know, it's just what we're doing. Oh, distribution channels right here under market. This is... Uh, uh, server one, which is getting, see, I, I have no popularity. I have 12.12%, but I just started this last month. So I'm going to give that a few months to ramp up. And then if that doesn't work out, then, uh, I'll put, I'll hire me a marketing team, put them in another room somewhere, maybe upstairs and, uh, uh, let, what's your name here? Who is not a compatible employee with anybody else. <clears throat> uh, I'll put her to work on uh, on uh, working on our 
brand marketing. I think you can do that. I'm not sure. Anyway, all right, so it's uh, 8.35 a.m. on June 1980. Everybody's going on vacation next month, so I can't really plan anything. So the only thing I'm going to do is some contract work. Now, this is your bread and butter when you first get started out. Build up to 50 to 100,000. 50 if you think you know what you're doing. 100,000 if, like me, you were uh, feeling kind of a little bit overwhelmed by the complexity this puts on you. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. So let me go ahead and do some contract work. So development down here is several things that you can look at. Develop software, your releases, uh, servers, which we already went over that. Contract work we're fixing to do. Research. I ain't even messed with that yet. So we're going to do some contract work. It's early in the morning. You officially open at 8. Eh, you're usually not, or I'm me, I'm usually not fully staffed till 8.15, 8.20. I don't care. It's consistent. I can factor that into my planning. <clears throat> All right, so what we've got here is uh, the available contracts. Type, you can sort by type. Get them Just so you can get them in on order and look at it. Embedded system. It's like somebody wants a clock for their MMORPG. You know, this would be like a mod or something to existing software. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that, you know, they put it in like a Word doc or a... Uh, a uh, Office application, because you can select different kinds of applications. So there's embedded systems, uh, game assets, which is 2D art right down my alley. We're going to be doing those, especially since one of them is a $15,000 damn thing, and you've got to do good uh, on it, which is, you know, the quality level. It's like crafting in an MMORPG or something. All right. Uh, you get 925 up front, and when you're done, you get 14724 if you don't get done on time, if you overdo it, it costs you $5,600, and every bug that you release it with costs you 26 bucks. That's one we're going to be doing probably. Uh, well, here's another one. Same, pretty, pretty, pretty. That one you want good. This, one, which one pays the most? This one does barely. Logistics application. So it's some kind of command line application. Uh, that's got all the stuff there on it. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to do game assets. Uh, I'll take game assets for $15,649. All right. Now, these are all the ones that I completed originally. You see, I did all them in February. I did, I've done one in May last month because uh, we had released. Uh, no, I'd hired a bunch of people. I'm plan I'm getting ready for my next software uh, development. We got $632,000 of which I've split off part of that. Where is it at? Where are my stocks? Where are my stock market? Oh, here it is. Over here on finance, derp, stocks. I have bought $221,661 of my own shares. It's lost 8%. Why is it showing me my... Anyway, I guess it doesn't really... I'm assuming... I'm assuming it was showing my, my server information because the server's under where my cursor was and it was the last thing I had selected anyway. Axiom Incorporated. Um, I'm losing 8%. I've lost 8% of the value on that, but I just split it off. So, And uh, I'm going to sell it. I mean, one of the things I read about this game is you can make some money in the stock market. So I split off a little of my own stock and uh, I'll sell that shit. Once, uh, once my stock starts going up, excuse my language. All right. So anyway, um, everybody's going on vacation. I'll be able to get this month out. So as long as I can get this month, I can probably get, I can probably get two goods done. I could probably get five horribles done, four bads. Anyway, we're fixing to do this. Game is paused. Now, what I want to do, did I not accept that? Hold on. I didn't accept it. Okay, so we'll select this one, the game assets for fifteen six forty nine. Server. All right, I have fifty megabits capacity. I'm using twenty six megabits capacity, so that means I have twenty four. So I'm gonna select server one for that to go on. Okay. Uh and I'm gonna accept the work. And I'm gonna have core and core design working on it. The core is me. 
You see it says one any role, that's me. And then I have core design, I have two designers, one of which is away at school. Because the older one I know is not going to be with me that long and I want to educate the hell out of the younger one. So when the older one leaves, see, I told you, I know, right? It's, it's deep. I'll have that uh, really good person. I got $925 from accepting the contract. We're paused. Uh, I have to assign, all right, market. They're still marketing Axiom View. We're going to look at that in a minute. All right, uh, I'm doing this this uh, contract work for Macau Carrot, Game Assets, it's default uh, category. Uh, the design is waiting, and see, this is where I, I, where I have the design team. I'm front-loading this development process, and I don't know if that's a thing, uh, but it's just an organizational, so I, I, I can do things consistently. So if things do go wrong, I can go back and parse out well, you know, what caused it? Change one thing at a time, blah, blah, blah. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to develop. Oh, it's designing, and I'm waiting. Okay, so now uh, it's 835. Uh, let's look at the building before I start this. Here's the room I originally built. Now these, these uh, servers being in this room with me are causing me some problems. So I'm going to go over here, going to uh, room. I'm going to office and I'm going to get me uh, cubicle walls and I'm going to lay these cubicle walls in here uh, like so. One more. Okay, you got to hold down shift if you want to put more than one of something. Else you got to go back to the menu. Still wrapping my mind around that. All right, so we got that going now, blocking that, uh, that server cubicle off from my desk and uh, whatever her name, the marketing girl's desk over there. Marketing girl, listen to me. I'm so sexist. It's that privilege, though. I know I'm not trying to be funny or facetious, but you know, I'm on the, I'm on the, uh, I'm on the end of that stick. I'm not on the shitty end of the stick. Everybody else is on the shitty end of the stick. I'm on the end of the stick that's getting, you know, check your privilege all the time. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What I was looking for something here. Function, decoration. And I want to put a plant because uh, I'm a big believer in that, you know. Put it by the window. I got a plant in here. These boys in here got a plant. Uh, now, what was we going to look at? Uh, anyway, hopefully you'll see how I'm going to expand this. When I when I start getting to the boring parts where I'm actually building stuff, I'm going to fast forward it. But this this uh, this uh, development I'm fixing to do, I'm going to. Uh, keep it going normal speed and, and commentate on it. All right, so right now over here, this is what kind of what's going on. I don't know if this is you called your action menu or what. Uh, I'm marketing Axiom View, which is my 2D soft, 2D uh, photo viewing software. That's like, you know, the lowest thing you can do on the uh, 2D end. So you can view it. So I called it Axiom View. Okay, and you can set priorities and have work orders, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's way above my pay grade so far. Uh, anyway, they're talking to the press. My marketing she is talking to the press. You can assign different teams by hitting assign or you can end the marketing campaign for that. We'll be doing that after I get my new software developed. We'll be ending this marketing campaign and uh, putting her on uh, whatever our, our, on our new software. All right, so anyway, we hit off a pause. Well, I've got it running at the low speed, so I can explain this. Okay, what we're doing is we're designing. Oh, who have I got working on it? Make sure, yeah, core plus one. So that's core, and that's my design team working on it. Now, it's on. It's running low speed. I'm going to turn it up, and you can see. All right, now look. It's 10.30 a.m., roughly two hours have passed. There's how far I am through the design phase. Okay, uh, and I have to have this done by 4 p.m. So we're two hours in. And we're this far into it, okay? So, go back to full speed. When it gets close, I'm going to cut it down because you don't want to spend more time in a phase than you need to. And you see here it says goal 94.9. As soon as that gets to 100, you want to hit develop because the design phase will be over at this point, okay? So, I'm watching that. Well, there it goes 98%, 99, and 100. Boom, promote. 
Okay, so now it's in alpha. My software is in alpha. Uh, it's 1.46 p.m., so I've only got about three hours for this to go ahead and go on. So we're going to hit some, uh, speed it up a little bit. Well, we're not going to make it. Holy shit, we're going to be late. We're going to be late. Go back to one over. Man, I can't believe that. And then employees went on vacation. Oh, my God. Okay, well, okay, I showed you a mistake. All right, we'll both learn. So it's in alpha. Uh, I've got, there's a tick box on one of the options where you make it skip over from after everybody leaves at night and that's your IT maintenance, cleaning people. It's, yeah, it's got all that, I know, right? So anyway, 742, I'm going to back out here so you can watch the bus arrive with everybody on it. So everybody's on vacation. Hold on here. No, everybody's not on vacation. Let's pause this. This is my IT guy and my cleaning girl, lady, whatever. I think I'm going to set them to come in at night. Let me show you that. HR. Uh, manage employees. All right. This is my, this is, you're right. I want to manage my staff. HR, 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 manage staff. There it is. All right. Maintenance. I want you to come in at 4 p.m. I can't change that, can I? No, I don't want to dismiss him. No, I don't want to send him home. I want his arrival. There we go, down here. I want his arrival to be at 4. Four PM. All right. And I want his departure to be at eight PM. Right. It automatically filled that in. Cool. You I want your arrival to be at five. There we go. Backspace. 5 p.m. apply and that should put you here until 9 and it did. IT, I want you here at 4 a.m. Delete 4 space a.m. Do you need the space? Apparently you don't. Alright, so there. We got that going on. Alright, so anyway, here we go. Got to get through July. I'm just going to speed this up. We'll cut back to uh, real-time simulation whenever things calm down some.
All right. Well, here we are back on the uh, on the the live simulation. Seems like an oxymoron, a non sequitur, but anyway. Uh, well, I've gotten to the point where now I'm going to be um, building way onto the building. We have thirty three million dollars. All right. So I can afford like to buy more land, and I can afford to uh, build a skyscraper. I can afford anything I want except to make a bad decision. All right, the game giveth, the game taketh away. You have to watch stuff. But uh, anyway, if this what you've seen so far looks interesting to you, uh, just remember it's in alpha. It's on Steam. It's early access. Things are subject to change and uh, will change and saves can be broken it says it right on the front page anyway my name's leo thank you for watching the video and i'll look forward to seeing you next time